Welcome everybody, Gaming Mike here to take a look with you at Terra. It's a free-to-play MMO that's recently been announced for consoles. It's coming to consoles very soon. So we're going to take a quick look at the character creation and uh, what the options are for making a character. Now this is on PS4. We're taking a look at the PS4 version. Wow. It's the Princess Leia bikini to the extreme. So this is a female Castanic. The Castanic are cunning, fiery, and ready to seize their destiny. Known for their dark, wry humor and bold manner, Castanics refuse to be chained to their dark past and now strive each day to forge a new future. Fierce and independent, Castanics make superb allies or deadly enemies. That's the female Castanic Berserker. That's the male Castanic Berserker. My goodness. And then we have the humans. Millennia of wandering brought the humans into contact with every other race living in the world of Terra. Their knowledge and understanding of the civilized races made them the perfect coordinators for building an allied society. The Valkion Federation represents a new hope for the world with humans at its core. That's the male and female humans. The Aman. Freedom and honor are not given but earned. Given their his history as warrior slaves to the giants, Amani, Amani are enthusiastic about the new era of equality represented by the Valkyron, Valkyon Federation. The Amani strive to suppress the violent nature forced upon them by their ancient overlords, but given provocation, it rises to the surface. There's a male Amon. There's the female Amon. Okay. They're looking pretty tough. And we have the High Elves. Faith in others is nothing without faith in oneself. High Elves are eager to prove themselves trustworthy allies of the Federation. No one questions their skills, but some question their hearts. The Elves strive to overcome their own xenophobia, acquired in the aftermath of an all-too-recent war. My goodness. There's the female elf. There's the male elf. I don't think I can change the camera angle on those at all. Oh well. Oh, Popori! Nature is eternal. Popori are nature. Nature guardians awakened by the Elans, the Poporis live harmoniously in the natural world. Their diminutive stature and warm fuzzy appearance belies their instinctive ferocity in battle. They may walk upright, but their emotion and instincts are closer to the animals they once were. Confident and unashamed, Poporis rarely feel guilt, embarrassment, or sadness. They don't have genders. That's the Popori. That's adorable. The Elin. Innocent waifs on the outside, immortal spirits on the inside. Never aging, the wise and battle-worn Elins still appear as vulnerable and innocent as their goddess was in the moment of their creation. Also known as the Daughters of Elinu, these divine spirits are committed to upholding their goddess's dream. Keep nature safe no matter the cost. Okay. Little magic creatures. And they made the Popori. Okay, they don't have a gender either. The Baraka. Knowledge reveals past, focuses present, present kindles future. A peaceful and noble race, Barakas are nonetheless ferocious in defense of the weak. They are descended from giants, though they have rejected the giants' lust for conquest. Their imposing presence conceals the true strength of their minds. Baraka are giants in intellect as well as physicality. Ooh, that sounds fancy. So those are the races available. Let's take a look at some plain old vanilla humans and uh, go over to the classes. First class is Berserker. Berserkers are constantly in motion and excel in multiple opponent situations, both as part of a group and solo. They use charge-up attacks to deal massive damage and can also block incoming frontal attacks at level 65. This blocking capability is expanded to full tank status. Wow. Archers sustain DPS ranged light armor. Archers are a highly mobile ranged combatants. By channeling arcane energy into bows, archers create a wide range of damaging effects. Archer skills can poison, slow, stun, and trap targets, giving them advantages in any encounter. And we've got the Lancer. Mitigation tank, melee, heavy armor. Lancers are heavily armored fighters focused on anchoring a battle. 
They generate maximum threat with shouts and special attacks, sacrificing movement and attack power for the best durability in the game. The Lancers are your super tanks. Uh, the Priest, healer buffs ranged robes. Priests are spellcasters whose primary role is to restore health and vitality. However, they are not to be taken lightly. The same power that revives allies can be used to smite foes. Alright. Mystic, healer, support, ranged, robes. Mystics are strong healing class with skills to protect and support their group. Mystics also summon powerful thralls to assist and heal them in battle. So mage, mage class. Slayer, burst, DPS, melee, and light armor. Agile fighters who are de uh, who use a devastating greatsword. High damage attacks combined with evasive maneuvers for dynamic combat style. Slayer skills are quick, precise strikes that knock over and in incapacitate even the largest foes, leaving them vul vulnerable for additional attacks. What else? Warrior, evasion tank or sustained DPS, melee, and light armor. Quick attacks and high mobility make warriors essential to group play, but also very survivable, survivable while soloing. For tanking, warriors use their defensive stance, cross parry, and aggro generating attacks and shouts. In a DPS role, warriors use assault stance, which increases power and endurance. That's the warrior class. And sorcerer. Sorcerers are spellcasters focused on annihilating enemies with high damage nuke attacks. The mobile artillery of Terra, a sorcerer's job is to kill things quickly. When grouped up, their skills decide which enemy dies first. Wow. Brawler, mitigation tank, melee, heavy armor. Quite an outfit. Brawlers are fast, solidly armored, hand-to-hand -hand combatants built for clo uh, close-in fighting. Brawlers use a variety of powerful blows to pummel enemies, including many fueled completely by rage. Brawler skills concentrate on dealing damage, but lots of brawler attacks knock enemies around the battlefield. Now the brawler class... Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. One moment. Now, the Brawler class is only available to, I think, female humans? Yeah, I can't change gender on this. Let's see. Switch to that one. And this one. And I switch back. I cannot be the Brawler. Only human females can be Brawlers. You have to be a human female to play as a Brawler. And then there's this. Only an Ellen can be a Reaper. And to create a Reaper, you must have an existing character of level 40 or higher on this server. So, the Reaper class is for the Ellen. Wait, that's Popori. Popori. Yeah, only an Ellen can be a Reaper, though. Must have a level 40 or higher character to create the Reaper. So, we don't even get the description on that. There are a few race and class specific classes. But let's go ahead and make ourselves a male. Actually, you know what? For this game. No, let's stick with a human. Let's make a basic human. What was this? The warrior. We're just gonna go human warrior and uh, complete there. And then you can customize. So here in the character creation, uh, you can customize all kinds of things. Different looks. Let's see. Presets. Choosing a preset will return custom settings to the defaults. Confirm you want to select a preset. So there's all these different preset characters. Wow. Oh, I like this grizzled old dude. How many presets do they have? They have 20. 20 different presets to choose from. Let's see. And then features, you can change the hair and things. Can I give him green hair? I can. <laughs> Uh, face. Oh, and here's where you can change. Looks like mustaches and scars. Wow. This guy. You can change skin tone all over the place. Let's 
so that's cool. Adornments. What are these? Tattoos, makeup, and adornments. His hair's getting in the way. There's some eye makeup. Some scars on his eyes. Dark circles. Oh, nice tattoo in his forehead. A little bit Charles Manson-y. Scars. Fine details. Look at that. Bone structure. You can change the brow, cheekbones, jaw, jaw width, jaw jut. Don't mean butt if it ain't got that jut. You know what I mean? We're going to go full jut. We're going to go full jut. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You can change the eyes. Width, shape, height, separation, angle, inner brow, outer brow. Fully adjustable. Pretty customizable. Nose. It's got extension, size, bridge, nostril width, tip width, nose tip, nostril flare, and bend. Wow. Mouth position, mouth width, lip thickness, gape, pucker, mouth corners. All the good customization options. Ears, rotation, extension, trim, and size. Wow, wow, wow. That's a lot. And then... That's... <laughs> wow. Let's go outfit. Oh, wow. Look at him. So regal. This is just previewing in various gear. Some nice gear, though. And voice. <laughs> That's voice one. This is voice two. Three. Four. Five. And six. <laughs> I'm going to go five. There we go. Uh, square to enter a name. We'll call him Seamus. And there you have it, character created in Terra. So, this is a game I'm going to be looking into on the channel. Feel free to join me in the live streams. I stream regularly Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I might be trying this on an upcoming stream. I do stream randomly other than that, though, so be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button if you want to get notified when I go live. Watch for the Terra streams on the channel. And thanks for watching this one. Bye-bye.